What's up guys, Mike the Coder here. Today, we're gonna talk about CSES repetitions. All right, so you're given a DNA sequence. This is a string that contains the characters A, C, G, and T. So your task is to find the longest repetition in the sequence. This is a maximum, this is a maximum length substring containing only one type of character. So what do they mean by this? It's just like, um, so if you look at this input example, A, T, T, C, G, 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 A, um, the the letter that uh, appears the most number of times continuously in one sequence is G, right? So G appears three times, right? And continuously from left to right next to each other. So that's why the answer is three because G uh, appears three times, which is the largest number of times it appears. So like if we go, go in the beginning, we see like A appears once, right? T appears twice, um, C appears once, G appears three times, and then A appears once again. So in terms of like the maximum continuous time a substring repeats, it's it's going to be G, right? G appears three times and the answer is G. They just want the maximum length. Uh, so how do you do this problem? Uh, this is actually a really basic problem. All you have to do is just loop from beginning to end. And then just every time um, from that point of the index, keep track how many times it repeats. Um, from left to right and then uh, yeah loop from beginning to end and loop from that index and keep track how many times it repeats from beginning to end anytime you anytime you encounter a new character that's not repeating um, just uh, reset the counter of how many times you want to repeat and check if it's like the maximum right so if it's if it is greater than it then that'll be the new counter of the new character that is repeating and we want the length of it, so we just need to keep track of the length of it, okay? So here, if we want to look at the sub uh, the code, I'll show you guys what I mean. So um, I have a string, S, that I'm going to input. And then I set uh, long, long repetition is going to be long, long underscore minimum, which is the, it's like negative infinity, right? It's like the minimum possible it could possibly occur, right? So uh, the reason I do this is because I want to uh, see because we want the maximum, the maximum number, right? Uh, this is just like a placeholder so that anytime we go loop through it, we'll get the maximum um, continuous like uh, continuous letter in a row, right? When we keep 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 track of it, so that's why this is equal to long long underscore minimum. So the first for loop is to just loop from the beginning to end to loop through every character. And now what we're going to do is we're going to have another pointer that's going to start from that position that we're looping through. And um, what we're going to do is while it's not uh, while it's less than to the end, um, we're going to check if it's equal to the one beside it, the one, the next one. So if it is equal to it, we're just going to keep increasing this, this, uh, this pointer. So we're going to keep increasing it. And then uh, once we reach this while loop, what this while loop is going to do is it's going to reach a point where the character is not going to equal to the next character, right? So what it means is like, I'm going to reach to a point where like sooner or later, one of the, the one of the characters J is not going to equal to J plus one, right? To the character afterwards. So that's what this while loop is going to do. And then after it's not equal to it, um, what we're going to do is we're going to get the length of it, right? And reset our length. And to get the length of it, what you do is uh, if you start from the jth index, you're going to subtract from your current index and you add by one because that'll be the the length of your index, the length of the string that you're keeping track of. So um, if we want to go over an example, essentially is here if you have like a, 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 it'll just start from a, um, start from zero and it's going to loop to the end and it's going to keep track until how many times of a's we encountered while it's equal to the next character and then after it keeps track that many times uh, once it hits like a c or a g or a t then it'll stop and then we just subtract like this position from the starting position and add one will give us the length of the current sequence so that's what this is for right if i take the current position i'm at after adding it and then subtract by the starting position add one that'll give me the length of the string and then i set this equal to max rep which is going to replace our answer. Our rep is the, the answer, essentially. And then when this happens, I'm going to set my current pointer equal to the new pointer because at this point, um, 
yeah we don't need to check the next one because uh if we check the next one there's no reason to because we know that this is the number of times it was equal to each other so in that case we could just skip all the way to the end of the end of the iteration and yeah that'll all equal to that so an example would be like in here we have a c c g g g t t t t right like if we start from a um i'll check hey is a equal to c it's not equal to it so we're going to get a length of a so in this case it's, go it's just going to be zero minus one plus one uh, zero minus zero plus one we're just going to give us a so i'll be one and then we set a new pointer to equal to that and now we're going to have going to be at c so we're going to loop from c to the end so while c is not uh while c is equal to the next point of the next character oh, it's going to keep increasing it so then in the end we'll get two right we'll get two because i'll be the length of c how many times this repeats and then we'll reset reset that as a new answer right because we want the maximum length right the maximum answer so we're going to say equal to max of that so it'll be equal to two and then the new pointer would be point to the value after c which is going to be g and then we do the same thing for g count how many times it was repeated then once it is equal to it we're going to jump to that next one get the position get the length of it jump to the next one and then all the t's and so on and so forth so yeah the code looks like this um some people some of you guys asked if you want the uh the includes um the includes the only thing that is really important is just uh that i have is just hashtag define ll long as long long um i didn't use the ll for long long because i just assume all the all the inputs that i'm using is going to be super long um yeah because like in competitive programming sometimes you might get overflow if you use integer but yeah that you could just write long long here long long and yeah so yeah um there's not much else i have in this code so that's pretty much the gist of it hope you guys enjoyed this video it's just using two pointers the first one just looping through each character and the second one is just keeping track of how many times it's repeated and then then we were just going to get the length of the position where it ends at subtract from the starting add one will give us length and then we reset that so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video rate comment subscribe i'll check you guys later peace